Oh, get on my face and I want to see Um, I have no idea what's here. Oh, no, I can't. Well, I'll just get to the chase. See? Good review. you. I do. And in celebration for Screen Force coming tomorrow, we'll be doing, well, I'll be doing it. Screen. Yes. Good old Ghostface. He's been powered, he's been spoofed, he's been everything. I need to drink off my mouth. Yeah, but. What's the thing though? So. I forgot what I was saying. I don't read, I don't read names or like that. So, but. Yeah, I'll, let's just get right into it, just in case we're here. First up, in my screen trilogy review. Screen. This movie is one of my favourite horror movies. It redefined uh, the horror genre in the 90s and it's also the highest person slash movie of all time. And it's also one of my favourites, like I said. So, and it's the end. It revolves around um, it's my two, these two. Spoiler, this, if I can even spoil this. We try and hunt seven dead or anything. You know what? If you've seen it, here's the plot. If you've not, you don't have to figure out what's going to be. I'm not really going to explain the plot, but actually. Here's the plot here. Critically acclaimed as the decrepitated horror plot of the 90s, the master of the gear was Craven, screaming out to terrify the unbelief. True. And Scream is the. I probably place it maybe somewhere in my top 5 of my favourite horror movies. It's just that awesome. And actually, the open scene of the movie is possibly one of the scariest open scenes I've ever seen. I always get chills when watching it. These days, I'm going like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that old ghost face. Yeah, it's just that bad. But I do like Scream movies, and, and Scream is definitely one of my favourites. And, and if you're, if you're actually now, probably, it's kind of a love or hate kind of thing, Scream is. Same for sequels. And not the ones was first, the sequels. Scream 2. I don't know why a lot of people hate this movie. This has to be one of the very few good horror sequels out there. It's not great, it's not as good as the first, but it's still good. And here's a tiny bit of the here. Master Ghost. Fuck it. Cindy Prescott thought that she had put the shocking ghost polio on just behind her until a phrase called the kick out begins acting out a chilling real life voice that could haunt her college campus. Yes, so ghost face is not fucked up. And this time, the twist in this spoiler, like I said. Um, I know I'm, this is a messed up review, but I'm not in a rush here. Um, so at this time it's, the, the, the cycle in the first movie, it's her mother at this time, so, pretty decent twist, but okay. But, like I said, it's one of my favourite horror sequels, and I thought of being a little bit too harsh now. Uh, like, so, I read, if you haven't seen it, check it out. If you love the first one, definitely check it out. If you didn't like the like sequel, you won't catch out like this one. Then we come to the third and final screen. Well, that is until the fourth one comes out tomorrow. Again, a lot of people fucking hate this movie. Um, I personally don't mind it. It's not. It's my least favourite in screen movies, but I don't mind it. I mean, it's if it was the last chance, this might be a lot better. But if it's not, it's just a pointless movie. But. And the twist in it is a little bit too far fetched after I met it, but um, it's, a, it's supposed to be scripted for the fourth week finally, which means they'll try to end it off in screen two, which he actually did it, so this way, 11 years until tomorrow. But Scream 3, really, a lot of people are going to watch it. Um, I would give it a uh, I, again, if you really like the first two movies like I did, I would watch it. If you didn't like it, then what's the point of fucking watching it? And the series overview, at least what I call it in each movie. Scream, um, 9.5 out of 10. One of my best horror movies I've ever seen. Scream 2. Kind of hard, I'd probably give this an 8.5, maybe an 8. Eight. Um, don't know, but again, like I said, it's one of the very good ones. It's one of the very few good horror sequels in there. The problem is it's actually a problem, it's actually in the top three of all. It's all, all in my top list. Like in Elm Street 4, Halloween 2, um, On the Darkness and all that. I haven't even seen On the Darkness, I don't want to see. 
And then the last one, I'll probably get about 7.5. I mean, it being James, it being the Twilight Rage, I'll probably get about 7. Like I said, if you're a diehard Street fan, you probably would like it. If you're just a guy, you, know, you may might like it, you may hate it, and if you just get it, you all your hate it. So, this is a kind of rough review on like, my Halloween. Maybe because there's only three movies in it. And I'm going to do my thoughts on the fourth movie. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to it. It just looks like the same thing as the last three movies. I was hoping for something different, but judging by the effects, it's just the same thing. Although not to me, it was it's currently about 64, which is a lot higher than Snow Peak, but just not as good as the Overall, I'm looking forward to it, it just looks like the same crap over and over again. And I can add to the deck, I think I know who the killer is now. Although, this is all those questions, but the person is like, oh, he looks like the killer. And it just always. So uh, that is all I have to say. My next issue probably will be Scream 3. I'm also going to do my first my top 10 list. Only it's not going to be top 10, it's going to be top 15. Yeah. I will put on a dot to that list, but I haven't seen it yet, but I, I will put it on it, just in case. But anyway, um, my name's Kill, my friend's the one. I watch these movies because I don't know, because I'm a horror critic and a horror reviewer. I don't know if you find the tagline, because I'm going to, if, if people are generous, like, can you try and give me a tagline? Judging by my personality, I would really appreciate it. Thanks. See ya.